Good afternoon. I'm Patrick Little. In other news, at Rhode Island, uh, COVID cases jumping up once again. The state getting ready to make a copy of your vaccination record available on your smartphone. That and much more just out of the state briefing this morning. Alexander Leslie was there in Lincoln. Well, Patrick, lots of headlines to get through this afternoon, but the main reason that we were at Northern Lincoln Elementary School for this morning's briefing is because that will be one of the next schools to implement a test to stay program after Governor McKee called the pilot that began in Westerly a success. A Governor Dan McKee says the test to stay pilot program recently implemented in Westerly has saved hundreds of school days. They were able to save about 315 school days. With parental approval, the program allowed unvaccinated elementary school students who may have been in contact with someone who tested for COVID-19 to be tested daily for the virus but still go to class. The governor says the program will now be open to any school district in the state that's interested. Our parents and staff were surveyed on this down in Westerly, and uh, I believe there was about a, you know, a very high percentage. I think it was about 97 percent of the of the families and the parents really thought it was a great asset. We also learned today the state is soon to be launching an app where Rhode Islanders can put their proof of vaccination as well as test results. While the health department calls it a health smart card, I asked Governor McKee if it would be fair to call it a vaccine passport. You can call it what you want. Uh, you know, uh, we're gonna. It's an app. It's an application that people can use. They're going to be able to access, and once it's accessible, we're going to make sure that everybody understands how to do it. And then, if the people choose to do it, choose to have it there for their convenience in their own lives, then uh, it's available. To, it'll be available to them. And as you heard Governor McKee just mentioned there, this app is not a requirement of any kind right now. It's just an alternative to the paper vaccine cards that we have. We have more details on this posted on WPRI.com. Reporting live in Lincoln, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.